Okay, so to recap what we've said so far, really the heart of it is models of variance, and then the summary statistic approach, as opposed to the all-in-one approach. Now, with respect to models of variance, we saw that you can do either fixed effects, random effects, or mixed effects approaches. Fixed effects are perfectly valid approaches. They're used all the time, but they're constrained in terms of the kind of inferences you can make from them. You can only make an inference with respect to the population you've surveyed, right? You're constrained in the scope of your inference. And this might be perfectly fine if you're doing a single um, case study or if you're, you're doing you know, a, a series of case studies. It might be even perfectly appropriate if you're, if you're surveying you know, a small rare population that you can fully sample. In other words, any time your aim is not to make inferences and to extrapolate from your surveyed sample to the whole population, a fixed effects analysis is perfectly fine. However, most of the times what you probably want to do is you want to sample a subset of the population and then be able to extrapolate the result to all of the population. Now, in order to do that, you need to do a mixed effects analysis. So you need to account both for variability within the participant and for variability across participants. And really the heart of it is that you do this by realizing that the participants you've surveyed are in of themselves random variables. And finally, we've seen that the appropriate way of doing um, a group analysis is this big all-in-one approach, but it's just not feasible. And for this reason, we've developed what is known as a summary statistic approach, which is sometimes referred to as the hierarchical approach. So you run, um, you run first level analysis independently. You run them for every, every run of every participant independently. And then you combine the results in a group analysis. And the beauty of this is that if you have one more analysis, all you need to do is you run the first level analysis for that participant, and then you just repeat the group level analysis. And if you carry forward, if your analysis includes both the within subject, so the, the fixed effect, and the between subjects, so the random effects. In other words, if in your group analysis, you use the mixed effects approach, then it's algebraically equivalent to doing the all-in-one approach.